What's up YouTube? This is Joy Neville back with another video and today's video I'm going to update you guys on how my journey is going because the struggle is real. If you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and support your girl. I appreciate it. Like, comment, and share this video and you'll be put in my personal drawing at 600 subscribers. We got to get to 600 and I'm giving away two to three Visa gift cards. Um, this is just supported by me for thanking you guys for supporting me. Anyways, let's get into this video. So, I'm Joy. I've lost 147.8 pounds if you guys are new to my channel. The first 100 pounds was in the first year. I simply do mainly portion control and um, calorie deficit. Calories in, calories out, right? So, if I want something, I find a lower calorie option and that's the one I eat. So if you're trying to figure out what I eat, I do tons of what I eat in a day, what I eat in a week, meal preps, grocery hauls, just to give you an idea. So if you like this, hit that subscribe and follow me on my journey. I am on a journey to finish my weight loss this year. That's it. I'm tired of it dragging on. I want to go into maintenance mode. This is a lifestyle. I'm never going to be done. I'm always going to have to make healthier choices, but I can have more days off, more time with family more treats and stuff. I know this because I've done it. I did it for almost a year in maintenance mode. But I want to finish. I want to finish my journey. So that's what the goal is right now. I'm currently going really hard trying to finish my journey and get this weight off and go into maintenance mode. So that's what this is about. How am I doing on that? So I've lost almost 148 pounds. I'm doing all right. Is it melting off like I thought it would? No, it's not. I'm busting my butt and I have a feeling it's because my body's used to this weight now. It's been four years that it's just given me a little here and there. Um, I'm going to the gym faithfully. I have not missed a day. If I missed one or two days at the gym, I worked out in my gym and recorded it for you guys. So faithfully working out, haven't missed. Um, faithfully eating on track, haven't missed. However, this week I've hit a bump in the road. I'm struggling you guys and I wanted to talk about that because I show you guys a lot of positivity on my channel. I show you guys look what I'm doing. You can do it too because I truly believe if you try your best and give it your all even when you mess up and get back on track you can do it. You can do it. I did it and I've messed up multiple times so let's talk about that. Let's talk about the struggle. This week I had Easter. That's a struggle. When you're trying to do your best, usually I allow, I allow myself to have that cupcake, to have, you know, that potato salad in a portion. I usually do that and that's okay. You can do that in portion. But because I'm so loyal to finishing my journey right now, I just want to stay on track and eat those lower calorie food options. I made myself a lower calorie potato salad. And, um, I did good. I did great on Easter. I didn't cheat. I didn't eat off track. I ate my lower calorie options. If you want to see those recipes, I videoed them and put them up. They're below. Um, and I did good on Easter, but there was a lot of temptations, right? And usually I allow myself those, but I didn't. I'm trying to stay loyal to myself. Then the next day I had a birthday party to attend with my cousin and he's my eating buddy. In the past, he's always been my eating buddy. I'm trying to finish my weight loss journey. He is also an overweight person. Um, he is also trying to lose weight, but currently I don't think he's trying so hard and we've all been there, but I am. And when I went to this restaurant and he's eating all these yummy foods and the free breads coming to the table and the free different dips and butters and um, aiolis and stuff to put on your bread are coming to the table and the crostinis and the pico and just all this good food that I didn't eat. It was a struggle. I was getting anxiety. I almost felt, and I know this is weird to say, but I felt like a drug addict in front of a drug, right? So food is my addiction and I have learned mentally and physically how to overcome this over the years and not making an addiction anymore. Make it a lifestyle. Make it something we eat for nourishment and occasionally we enjoy it, right? But not every day. It's not something for fun that we eat every day in big amounts and just go woohoo, you know? So at the restaurant, I felt like I was being really tempted because I'm watching him literally pig out, if we're being honest, 
and I was going to eat a berry berry salad with grilled chicken. Um, that that was what I was gonna do, and he's over here pigging out, and so you can see how this could be a struggle for me, considering I am still a food addict. I think. I don't know if I'll ever not be a food addict. I've learned how to not binge completely and stuff like that. I've learned how to maintain my lifestyle over the years, but I'm still a food addict, right? And so that was hard. I was really getting anxiety. I haven't had anxiety in years. I came home and for some reason, I was good at the restaurant, but when I came home, I was tempted to eat foods. I wanted sweets. I wanted the candy jar. This candy jar sits on my table day in and day out. I don't mess with the candy jar. Every now and then I'll take one piece out. But no, I've been good. And I wanted to eat candy. I wanted to eat ice cream. I craved bread. I didn't eat all of these things. But I did have like peanut butter and jelly sandwich with my bread. But I still had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It wasn't in my fitness pal. It wasn't something I was going to eat. But I ate it. I was craving it. I was craving... Um, ice cream. I had a couple bites of ice cream and I had to stop myself at one point because I noticed I started to pick and choose things and just shove them in my mouth. My stomach hurt. I was not hungry. In fact, I, my stomach started to get upset from eating those couple bites of ice cream and everybody was asleep and I had a choice. You can eat all you want and eat the whole house or you can go to freaking bed and start new the next day. And it was upsetting. I was upset. I felt like I let myself uh, fall off track. So I put everything in my fitness pal and realized I didn't even go over my calories. I didn't go over my calories. And that, that made me feel better. But it's not okay. It's not okay to have those feelings like that, that compulsiveness. I felt like I didn't have control of myself and that's not okay is it okay to fall off yes and that's what I want to tell you guys right now if you fall off track if you get tempted which technically I didn't fall off because I did stay in my calorie deficit so I'm still all right my weight didn't go up well it went up yesterday one pound and then it came back down it was just water but my point is I fell off. To me, I fell off, right? I ate foods I don't eat. I don't eat those foods usually. I was tempted. I was eating just to eat because I was stressed out thinking about all the food that he got to eat. And then I think I was even stressed out that I didn't allow myself to enjoy a birthday dinner, which is a whole nother topic. But the whole point being is if you mess up and you get those feelings of, wanting to eat the house or you get those feelings of anxiety and you just want to eat this or you want to eat that and you do do it or you do do partially some of it and eat some of it just know it's okay the worst thing I could have done was wake up that next day beat myself up for it feel really bad and then eat more because what do you do when you feel bad you beat yourself up and then you emotionally eat more and you keep doing it and you go screw it screw it I already ate I'm gonna go eat more I messed up everything I messed up my whole diet I messed up my whole lifestyle my whole journey screw it I'm just gonna go eat more that's what our brain usually tells us I don't know why I can't answer that I think we're human and we beat ourselves up however I do want to say for the most part, it's not a big deal. Just keep going. And I had to tell myself that, Joy, you're not letting anybody down. Joy, you're not letting yourself down. The worst thing you could do, Joy, is not tell them what happened and that you're gonna keep going. So I'm sharing this with you. This is what happened and I'm gonna keep going. Temptations are real, right? Last night I had a good night. I ate on point today. I'm having a good day. I'm eating on point. I'm actually recording a what I eat in a week video right now. But I just, I had to get on here and tell you guys this. Please. If you mess up, just keep going. I got this far, a hundred and almost 48 pounds off of my body, my little five foot body, from keeping going, from not giving up. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. 
the next person isn't perfect, she ain't perfect, he ain't perfect, we're human. Food is an addiction that's all around us. If you're a drug addict, you can cut the drug, right? And get rid of the people that do the drug and not be around them anymore and you're good. If you're a food addict, you can't cut the food. Look behind me. My son is eating right now, right? I go out to eat for birthdays or eating. Easter, everybody's eating around me. Food is everywhere and that's okay. You have to allow yourself treats when you want treats in portion and you also have to tell yourself if you don't want them that's okay too find something you do want that's fits in your lifestyle and have that and that's where I'm at you can't beat yourself up you can't beat yourself up for your choices you can't beat yourself up for what you eat or don't eat you can't let others control what's going on in your life and that's kinda what I did this week I let other people kind of push me in a direction that I wasn't comfortable going but I went to make them happy and in the end I wasn't happy so in the end do what's best for you you know what I mean and if you mess up just get back on track this is not something that happens in like two weeks or one month or two months you're not gonna be the skinny bombshell it's not gonna happen you're going to hit bumps in the road you are it's just inevitable now I could say screw it I'm done I messed up I messed up my going hard and I'm done no I'm right here today doing it again I've got my meals in my fridge and I'm still going hard it is what it is and my weight didn't go up it's right back down to where it is and I'm moving on but I wouldn't have got this far if I had that mindset that it was bad, that food is bad, and you can't eat food, or you're a horrible person, and you messed up, and so now you're done, that's it. I would have never got here. I've done that at least 20 different times in my life. I'm 40 years old, and I have dieted many a times. I've been obese since a kid. I've told you guys that. I've told you my weight loss story, so I'm not going to go into that. But I've tried many a times and failed because I had that all-or-nothing mentality you can't have that you have to say okay I messed up now I'm getting back on track now luckily I only messed up for a couple an hour or two right and I'm back on track but I have had days where in the past where I've messed up for weeks weeks where I just didn't feel like eating what was measured out for me or meal prepped for me or I wanted this or I wanted that right and I did gain some weight and then I snapped out of it and said, Joy, get it together. Finish what you started. And I got back on track. And that is why I'm here. Am I perfect? No. Am I a bombshell yet? No, but I'm trying to be. <laughs> I'm still doing it. And I want all you guys to know that. Don't beat yourself up. If you fell off exercising, that doesn't mean you never have to exercise again. Go back and start doing it again. And if you fall off again, or something deters you from it, start up again. It's okay. We're human. We're going to not want to exercise daily. We're going to not want to eat whatever's put in front of us daily that's healthy. We're going to have days where we don't want to do that. As long as most of our life consists of that healthy style, that's all that matters, you guys. That's all that matters. And so I just wanted to put this out here. I'm human. I mess up and I get back on track. If you're human and you've messed up, put yourself back on track. You can do this. Don't beat yourself up. You deserve to be your best you and beating yourself up and just giving up on yourself, you deserve better than that. I deserve better than that. We all deserve better than that, right? So baby steps, let's just keep on trying. It's not an all or nothing mindset. A little bit at a time and if you're still trying and you're not that person that went out and ordered you know a big large pizza and a gallon of ice cream and chips and dips and all that and you've been eating that every day and you're like I'm done done you're gonna be all right get back on track and if you are that person that has been doing that daily you're still gonna be all right just get back on track forget everything you did as of yesterday forget it just forget it. Right now, right here, put yourself back on track. 
Go find a couple things in the freezer or the fridge, and if you don't have anything, run to the store. Get a couple things that fit in your healthy lifestyle for your healthy way of living. Meal prep them, cut them up, wash them up, whatever you got to do, thaw it out, whatever, and get back on track. That's all I got to say in this video. That's what's going on in my journey. I've been loyal. I've been busting my butt. I haven't missed any workouts whatsoever. If I didn't go to the gym, I worked out at home. And I had one mess up the other night. But I stayed in my calorie deficit. So technically, I didn't have a mess up. However, to me, I let myself do stuff I normally wouldn't do and I, I didn't feel good, my stomach didn't feel good, my mentality didn't feel good, so therefore I messed up and I'm putting myself back on track. And that's all that matters. And I wanted to put that out there to let you guys know. Nobody's perfect. We're gonna have mess ups. Just keep on going, you know? Other than that, I'm gonna end this video I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm recording a what I eat in a week right now, so I'll put that up probably in a day or two. Um, and yeah, when we get to 600 subscribers, I'm doing my Visa gift card giveaway, which is just from me to thank you guys for watching me and appreciating me. So leave a comment. That's how I know to put you in my Visa gift card giveaway. Follow me on Instagram at Joy Neville Health Journey. You guys, I've been posting my workouts every day there. So if you're not on Instagram, it's really easy to do. Just put your email in and sign up. Follow me on Instagram at Joy Neville Health Journey. You can see my daily exercise. You can see my daily what I eat. I try to post it daily. Um, and just updates, life updates. Thank you guys for watching me. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. It's almost Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. I will be posting this video today as I'm recording it. Um, and yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're back on track. We're going to keep going because we deserve it. We deserve to keep trying and not give up on ourselves. That's the whole point of this video. Love you guys. Stay positive. Stay strong. You got this. Bye, guys.